From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Texas has called in the U.S. Air Force to fight the surge of mosquitoes following Hurricane Harvey. <laughs> They're calling in the Air Force for that. How big are Texas mosquitoes? The California man arrived home one recent day to find a woman naked and asleep in his bedroom. The homeowner told police that when he arrived home, it appeared the woman had helped herself to his fridge and shower. The man said he found a sandwich with a bite missing from it on the kitchen counter. Also, an open drink had been taken from his fridge and left next to the sandwich. The victim also told cops that female garments were found on the floor in the bathroom. She tried two other beds at houses in the neighborhood, but one was too hard, the other was too soft. Doctors are now warning that you should wear sunscreen while using your cell phone or computer. Well, wouldn't that get the keyboard and screen all greasy? Why have your senior portraits taken in random meadows or in the middle of an abandoned train tracks when you can shoot them at a place you really love? According to People.com, Michaela Kleckler, she had this thought when it came to deciding her own photos prior to graduating from Northeast Jones High School in Mississippi and headed to her local McDonald's. The 17-year-old, who clearly has an amazing sense of humor, was shot in several different poses and setups, all involving the best that McDonald's has to offer – french fries, large sodas, and buttermilk chicken sandwiches. <laughs> you, you gotta love a girl with a supersized sense of humor. A man in Ozark, Missouri pointed a gun at another driver recently after the two got into a verbal squabble over her liberal and anti-Trump bumper stickers. The man was charged with unlawful use of a weapon and for wielding the firearm, which forced the woman to smash into a guardrail. I'm guessing it was the left guardrail. Astronomers have discovered a pitch-black planet that reflects almost zero sunlight. A new research effort to study the exoplanet known as WASP-12b hasn't exactly revealed what it's made of, but it has discovered that the planet is the blackest of blacks and reflects so little sunlight that not even freshly laid asphalt can compare. Scientists' best guess as to what the blacker-than-black planet is made of is the hearts of Antifa activists. Toys R Us is preparing for possible bankruptcy. They're planning to sell all their property, including Barbie's Malibu Dreamhouse. It has been one year since a solar-paneled bike path was put down in the Netherlands, and the results have even surprised the designers. Over the past year, the path has generated 70 kilowatt hours per square meter. That's enough to power about three houses. The people behind Solar Road are hopeful that the path's success will spur more cities to adopt the idea and use existing roadways to gather cheap and sustainable energy. So how can I get my driveway paved with this stuff? Researchers say a messy desk could be a sign of genius. You know, I say we stop the research right there and just accept that as fact. The Baltimore Ravens have rescheduled DNA Day. They made that decision just over two hours before the kickoff of their home opener on Sunday. The Ravens had planned to give out free DNA test kits to fans as they entered the stadium, but decided against it at the last minute. So I guess now we'll never know who the father is of the 3,000 pregnant women at the game. The next time someone at your office lets out a silent but deadly emission, maybe you should thank them. A new study at the University of Exeter in England suggests that exposure to hydrogen sulfide – that's what your body produces as bacteria that breaks down food causing gas – well, it could prevent mitochondria damage. Yep, the implication is what you're thinking. People are taking the research to mean that smelling farts could prevent disease and even cancer. While hydrogen sulfide gas is harmful in large doses, the study suggests that a whiff here and there has the power to reduce risks of cancer, strokes, heart attacks, arthritis, and dementia by preserving mitochondria. So when Dad asks you to pull his finger, you can thank him for looking out for your health. Donald Trump has taken up the offer of an 11-year-old named Frank to mow the Rose Garden lawn. Knowing how DC works, the kid will mysteriously disappear after the lawnmowers union finds out about this. A plane clipped a catering truck at Manchester Airport in England while preparing to take off, causing significant delays and sparking an investigation into the crash. 
Passengers had to wait about three hours before taking off on another plane. Well, at least the passengers didn't have to starve during the wait, though. I mean, after all, they crashed into a catering truck. We love them. We hate them. We can't live without them. But sometimes we just have to yell blankety blank 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 at our computer. Almost 40 percent of computer users admit they have cursed at that infernal machine at one time or another, according to a worldwide survey conducted by IT security experts Avira. But not all PC users have potty mouths. 38 percent brag that they have never once yelled at their computer in moments of frustration. 11 percent have wished a catastrophe would strike the company that makes the operating system software or the computer hardware crash. 9 percent have actually hit their computer with an object, including a baseball bat or a fist. And 3 percent have picked up the computer and smashed it into the ground or against another object. Well, gee, no wonder the machines rise up against us. I don't blame them. Now they're talking about self-piloting ships and that they could be ready in three years. I am not a fan of this idea. I didn't like Speed 2 Cruise Control the first time I saw it. I'm dedicating my show this week to my friends at Cross International. With the devastating hurricanes that hit Texas and Florida, it's easy to forget others in need around the world, such as South Sudan, where children are literally starving to death. So I've teamed up with Cross International, and I'm asking you, my official weirdos, to save a life today. A single gift of $60 will feed a child for a full five months. You can also ask that part of your gift go to hurricane relief, so you're helping both causes at the same time. Call 866-822-4883 to donate now. That's 866-822-4883. Or give online by clicking the Cross International banner at MarlarHouse.com. And thank you for your generosity. If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. To become an official weirdo, click that subscribe button and click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be a part of the notification squad. And while you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you are an official weirdo.